Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at collecting like terms, so the fundamentals of algebra here. If you want to get a hard copy with the questions so you can fill them in as we're going along, you can get that over on my website. When we have an algebraic expression, we use a kind of shorthand. Instead of saying x times y, we can just write x, y. Instead of writing t plus t plus t, we can rewrite that as 3t. Instead of writing 5 times f, we can just write 5f. Instead of writing e times e times e, we can write e cubed. Instead of writing x divided by y, we can write x over y. Getting slightly more complicated, now we have a couple of things times together. Here we have numbers, which are the same, A's and B's. So things that are the same can be multiplied by each other, so each of the numbers can be multiplied by each other. 2 times 4 is 8, A, B. Here again we have numbers, an X, a Y, and a z. Things are the same can multiply to each other, so 5 times 4, 20 x, y, z. 7d plus 4d. 7d's and 4d's together make 11 d's in total. 2e plus 6e minus 3e. 2 plus 6 minus 3 gives us 5e x squared plus x squared plus x squared plus x squared, we have 4x squared in total, so that is 4x squared. 3 times e times f can be written as 3ef. 5y divided by 10, y over 2, or a half y. 6ab over 2b, because we have b both on top and the bottom, numbers both on top and the bottom, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then a. 8ab times 8ac, we have numbers, a's, b's, and c's. We can times all like terms together, so everything that I've coloured in the same. So 8 times 3, 24. A times A is A squared, B, C. 5F plus 6E minus 2F plus 3E. 5F minus 2F is 3F plus 6E plus 3E is plus 9e. Slightly more complicated now, we have 2 square root 5, 4 square root 5, minus 8 plus 2. 2 square root 5 plus 4 square root 5 gives us 6 square root 5, minus 8 plus 2 gives us minus 6. 7 minus 5 minus 2 square root 3 plus 4 square root 3. Minus 2 square root 3 plus 4 square root 3 gives us 2 square root 3. 7 minus 5 gives us plus 2. 9 square root 7 minus 4 square root 7 and plus 6 plus 2. 9 square root 7 minus 4 square root 7 gives us 5 square root 7 plus 6 plus 2 gives us plus 8. 8 square root 10 minus 3 square root 10 plus 7 minus 12. 8 square root 10 minus 3 square root 10 gives us 5 square root 10 plus 7 minus 12 gives us minus 5. 6 square root 2 minus 3 minus 5 square root 2 plus 9 
6 square root t minus 5 square root t leaves us with square root 2 minus 3 plus 9 gives us plus 6. 8 square root 5 plus 7 minus square root 5 plus 3. 8 square root 5 minus square root 5 is 7. Square root 5 plus 7 plus 3 is plus 10. 2 square root 7 plus 6 minus 5 square root 7 plus 5. 2 square root 7 minus 5 square root 7 is minus 3 square root 7. 6 plus 5 is 11. 3 square root 2 plus 7 square root 5 minus square root 2 minus 2 square root 5. 3 square root 2 minus square root 2 is 2 square root 2. 7 square root 5 minus 2 square root 5 is plus 5 square root 5. 8 square root 7 plus 2 square root 7 is 10 square root 7. 3 square root 3 minus 5 square root 3 is minus 2 square root 3. 3 square root 10 plus square root 10 is 4 square root 10. Minus 2 square root 5 minus square root 5 is minus 3 square root 5. 12 square root 2 minus 9 square root 2 is 3 square root 2. 7 square root 3 plus square root 3 is plus 8 square root 3. 7 square root 5 minus 4 square root 5 is 3 square root 5. Minus 6 square root 7 plus 2 square root 7 is minus 4 square root 7. 3 square root 10 minus 7 square root 10 is minus 4 square root 10. Minus 8 square root 2 minus 3 square root 2 is minus 11 square root 2. 7 square root 2 plus 3 square root 3 minus 4 square root 5 minus square root 2 plus 2 square root 3. 7 square root 2 minus square root 2 is 6 square root 2. 3 square root 3 plus 2 square root 3 is plus 5 square root 3 and then minus 4 square root 5 on its own. Last one here, bit of a long one. 5 square root 6 minus 8 square root 7 plus 2 square root 10 plus 2 square root 6 plus 4 square root 7 minus square root 10. 5 square root 6 plus 2 square root 6 gives us 7 square root 6. Minus 8 square root 7 plus 4 square root 7 gives us minus 4 square root 7. Plus 2 square root 10 minus square root 10 gives us plus square root 10. Last one for this video guys, well done for making it all the way to end. Now we can move on to something slightly more complicated.